exactly. That was the Liberty Motel. That was a uh, that was a 120 foot tower, and I was up wow. there changing the uh, the uh, tubes and the amplifiers. You used to put the amplifiers right up close to the antenna because it was lost. If you put them down at the bottom of the in, in the building, you put the uh, uh, put one of these buckets, one of these homemade devices, to keep the the uh, amplifier uh, weatherproof or uh, so it wouldn't get wet and all that other mm-hmm. stuff. Anyway, I was up there changing the tubes in there, and when I got down off the tower, it was a day in February, rather cold up there. You heard the story. There was a fellow in the green Chevrolet, a uh, fellow by the name of, uh, actually, the green Chevrolet, his name was Fred Green. He came from Gerald okay. Electronics in Philadelphia, and he was just driving through, and he saw all these big towers, and he wondered why there was no cable in Liberty. That was the early, early, that was, uh, let's see, that, was in, that had to be that had to be in the early 50s. That could have been 52, 53, something like that. Okay. He and I got talking. Uh, he asked me if I'd like to hey, warm up and get a cup of coffee, and he and I got talking, and he explained about the Gerald Electronics and the cable and coaxial cable and all the rest of that. And it was uh, really the first time I heard about that. They were they were a relatively small company in Philadelphia, but they had they had uh, jumped into the vacuum, you might say, of uh, of the fine state uh, equipment to start transporting and building uh, uh, cable uh, systems. And long okay. story short, in those days, uh, if you could put a few dollars together, if you could put a dollar together, they'd lend you, I guess, two or three dollars. It was a very leveraged up type of thing if you agreed to buy all of the equipment from them. Uh, and that's the, and then they also, as a bonus, that uh, they'd also do some financing for you, which was very attractive. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, um, I was, I was uh, it was, it was at the way beginning of my career. We capitalized the business with twenty thousand dollars, and I had put up of that. Uh, I believe I put up something like eighteen hundred dollars. I got from the store owners, the, the shopkeepers up and down Main Street in Liberty. They all chipped in because I used to fix their television sets, and they had a level of confidence that I would do a good job. But they could right. trust me, you know. And anyway, so we put the uh, we put the company together, and we uh, uh, it took us. Uh, we turned on in uh, in February of uh, uh, let's see, we turned on in February of 1956. Right. And we had uh, we got we got 300 subscribers the first uh, few months, and in hmm. uh, that time they used to uh, sign a three-page contract. God only knows why we needed a contract, but all the cable companies had a contract. So uh, right. we had those, and they lined up outside my brother's Photoshop. My brother had a Photoshop on, on the Main Street, and I was down right. there with, with six television sets in the window, and they all had a different picture on them, and the people just couldn't believe.